so welcome back all of you and now uh, you just completed uh, what was a very good amount of introduction into procurement contracts and then now we are jumping into rapid implementation so i will now share my screen so if you go there you find uh, my company i worked in a company in uh, uh, madras and then that company do not like this rapid implementation at all because it creates a view on a common set that is a real uh, problem for them so we have a hrms also implemented everywhere so hcm team do not like this rapid implementation at all because unfortunately it creates a view on a common set common set is a yeah, what happens is basically enemy for hcm actually they don't like the common set at all because the, all the securities are bypassed actually. but even then we can introduce the security at every stage but uh, since the base itself is bypassed then they have to what happens a manually introduce everything and then what they say so it becomes a very cumbersome task for them so they don't like this uh, rapid implementation so let us go there we'll now see what how the rapid implementation is being set up i'll go to stay for now so i will now go to the fusion order management actually fine i have kept that in fusion order management actually the rapid implementation is being kept over there and open up the fusion order management and then open up the rapid implementation so i will now delete these two files now i will delete these two files i will now open up the excel sheet and double click so open it up so open up the excel sheet and rapid implementation this one i am opening it up so there are some 11 things you have to change on this now right so uh, the name i will not say what happens i will not say t02 no fine since i worked on t01 fine let us not make it as what t02 fine the name has been changed fine so in the first tab region on the coa calendar ledger fine the name of the what happens this has been changed no t01 so here what about these four components are there and you have to add it is already added in company department account info and then if you have any more segments you have to add those segments also with all the short prompt and then the bit also so the only what about the company will be having a six or seven segments so they will be adding all the segments whatever is required they will not add they will not add the short segment debit everything will be so normally adjusting period will be once in a year only and then you will know what about the fiscal year start also what about they will not start and then this is going to do One one two two one and start again. So the first one is then fine. Give us save. As and when you keep on doing what happens. So the first one zero zero use fine. So I will not go. The name also they will not do it appropriate. I have not given. I just modified it. But they will be giving the name appropriate. The chart of accounts, the calendar ledger will be having a common name. So go to the next one. Fine. Go to the business unit. In the business unit I will not change it. Fine. I will not just just change it. Fine. For the training purposes it's okay. I will not change the three letter word. Fine. What's called T zero two. So here also, what happens? I will not change the three letter. T zero two, and then give us it. So second tab region is now. So one plus two three is now completed now. So give us it. So go to the third tab region. In the companies and legal entities, what happens? You go there. In the first area, what happens? You make a change to what T zero one. T zero two, sorry, T zero two. So take a copy of it, and then keep on wherever the LD name is coming. Fine, paste it now. Fine, four changes are there. In the identifier, what happens? You go there and then change the first three letters to what T zero two. But they will not have everything differently. Fine. Only for our training purposes, we are changing only the first three names. But they will not have their own names everywhere. So go there to now. Fine. <coughs> Is that T zero two? So T zero two. I am now reading everything because if there is any problem coming in on the numbering, fine. It will not have any clash at all. So here also, what happens? Go there. I will not make a change to what T zero two. then what they do is they will now upload or other upload into the excel sheet the natural accounts they will now go to the natural accounts so all the natural accounts whatever they want they will now upload it so these are all the vision's natural account so i have now kept everything over there fine so they will now upload this sheet fully fine with the coe fine the chart of accounts they will now upload the sheet fully and then afterwards what happens they will now go to the financial sequences they will now create all the sequences and whatever is required they now go to the departments they will now create all the departments <laughs> So this is the one kind of go there. So afterwards, what happens? They will now go to the intercompany segment. The intercompany segment will now go there. They will now put all the intercompany. So all these eight tab regions, fine. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the seven tab regions will be filled with the financial team. And for our purposes, don't touch anything at all. Fine, leave it as such. The intercompany segments, the departments don't touch anything. And financial segments also don't touch anything. And the natural accounts also don't touch anything. So we are now doing eight, eleven changes actually. In the first sheet, what happens? We change the name. Right? In the second sheet, we have changed the BU name and then the LE name. Right? And then afterwards, in the third sheet, what happens? We made eight changes actually. 
and there are eight changes we made now. So, okay, one of, so we are now given the four LE names now, and then afterwards identifier is the fifth one, and then afterwards the address is the sixth one, <clears throat> and then this one, the registration number as well as your whatever the reporting unit. So there are eight here. So eight plus two plus one. So there are eleven changes we have made. So now, sir, in this case, is still registration number is still K zero one one. Where is it? Please. Registration number last. One second. I have not made that. Uh, it is okay. And registration number is still K zero one five. I have not made a change. So if you make some mistake here, or even there will be clashing actually. Fine. So you should not make any mistake. Here. So, Nana, sir, this is creating one legal entity and then all the other uh, company names. Yeah, it creates one LE, one BU, fine, and then one chart of accounts, and then uh, it creates a ledger, fine, everything. So, all the financial entities are also created. But these ones are the company um, company. Yeah, uh, it's all groups. financial structure, actually. The entire thing is a financial structure. It doesn't create any inventory or right? It only creates the... No, no, I'm saying, is it creating company codes, like uh, balancing actually, segments, yeah. zero, one? Go there, the natural account, what happens, all the codes are created, actually. Right? Okay. Okay. So uh, if you go to the companies and legal entities, what happens? They're now creating the company codes also. Right. In this place, what happens? Uh, there are something here now. Fine. The parent and child relationship is there. Right. So you are having from the one. What happens? They're now taking up the parent. I don't know much about it. Right. So talk to them regarding this now. Right. So it creates the complete financial or uh, structure. Right. For the financial sequences, something is there, and the department right. something is there. So it creates the department also. And this department value will be uploaded, and then the natural account is there. So I think this may be the company. I'm not sure about it. Which is a company actually? The company code. <clears throat> uh, where is the company code? And there is no such asset. And the natural account is there. Uh, maybe I, I see. No, no, sir. I see the tab number four talks about company codes. Okay, I understand. Okay, then. companies are legal. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So these are all the uh, eight companies which are there now. Right? The eight companies. Yeah. So having, having filled up one, we have to only fill up 11 for our training actually. And 11 changes you have to make on the training. Afterwards, come to the main one and give us safe. So after having that, what happens? You go on that validate. Fine, click on step number one and validate. So one, two, one. And remember, this will not work on a uh, Mac machine now. Only on a Windows machine, it will work now. So if you have a Mac machine, you have to what happens, go on that. Do this on a Windows machine. And it doesn't work. This template doesn't work on a uh, what's called a Mac machine actually. So validation is successful and then no errors found. Do you want to preview the sample report? No, I don't want it because I don't know much about it. I will not give a no to you. So validation is successful. Give a no, no. Then afterwards, what happens? Generate chart of accounts and account. So click on the step two, click on it. It is not going to generate it. So go there. It is not generating it. So go there. I will not put it on the same place. Where are I? I will not go to the main. I will not go to what? What is CM training? I will not go to the order management. And go to the rapid implementation. And then here, the chart of accounts is done. I'm going to say. And then third step is what? General ledger legal case. Thanks for I'm not going to generate it. Click on save. <clears throat> it is not done. So it is not done. So having done the step number three, you simply close without a save. So before generating it, you save. Step one, two, three, save it. And then afterwards, don't save at all. Close it. Don't save. Don't save and then come out. Now, we will now open up the, what's called, the Excel sheet for this number. Go back on level. We have an order management worksheet now. So in the worksheet, whatever I, I do the complete setup only by a rapid implementation only for order management. So that, here I will not just show you this one. Click on that one. Go that one. I now open it up. So the first activity is what we had to upload the chart of accounts. Fine. This is a task, remember. The task name. Fine. Take a copy of the task. You will now go to the system and then upload it. I will now go to the system. So I will now go on and execute the task. You will now go to the setup and maintenance. And then let us now execute the task. Click on it. You know, we'll search, we'll search. And then let me execute the task. Enter it. So it is the upload chart of account. Click on it. So here I will not choose the file. Thank you. Choose file. I will not go to this place. I will not go to the Oracle SEM training. I will not go to the fusion order management. I will not go to the rapid implementation. The first one is a chart of accounts. So it's a zip file actually. So click on open. The zip file we're opening it up. And then if you click on submit, it will now start to run some three concurrence, three or four concurrence. I'm not remembering it. Click on submit. It will now start to run. <clears throat> Suppose that. So 6944 is running. So we had to wait till it gets completed, actually. So we had to wait till it gets completed. And then it will be what happens uh, creating the chart of accounts as well as it will not deploy. It. And if you have an error in deployment, then what happens? You cannot proceed further at all. The deployment has to get successful. 
and before doing it what happens what you do is you go there right click and then duplicate fine go that you will now go there and then what happens i make a check now fine before you run it what happens you go there and click on it i now go to the setup and maintenance and then i will now go to manage chart of account structures it you know that you know go there so click on search now fine <clears throat> go there i will now say manage chart structures manage chart of account structures you know. so do it you go there manage chart of account structures and then if you click on search now fine generic search period um, you must get a green tick mark on it the deployment status has to be green now it is not there because the system has now started deploying it actually fine since it has not started deploying it and then there should not be any error message there. so you have to wait for everything to complete fine then what happens once when all the things are completed then we can launch the second concurrent actually <clears throat> good morning <coughs> so it will take approximately uh, five to ten minutes actually for the first concurrent to complete. So only after completion of the second first concurrent, you have to launch the second one. If multiple people are launching the same one, they will be blocked actually. They will not wait for the first to complete, and then afterwards only that will be run actually. Yeah. Uh, so can you hear me, Nana sir? Yeah, tell me. Yeah. What is the folder path for that Excel sheet? I will again tell you. Folder path what? You go to the main, and then you open up the Oracle SCM training. You know how uh, my name is Oracle SCM training. I don't know what is your name now, man. Right? So you got one, two, three, four, five, and all. Fine. Here, what happens? You go to the Oracle order management. In this, what happens? You will have a rapid implementation. So in the rapid implementation, this is the Excel sheet. Actually. It has got changed from 20B and 21A. Fine. After 21A, there is no change at all. From 21A onwards, we are able to run the same Excel sheet. Actually. In 20B, <coughs> when we 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 started in 21A. There was a change now, fine. So my financial guy has now modified it for twenty-one year and then gave it to me. So go there. So click on it. So it's now running. So it's now going to upload chart of account. Go there. Go on. Now refresh it. So there are three or four concurrents on it. So you now see. Uh, I have now. I have now go on the search for mine. PRC ten. PRC ten. And then click on search and find something to PRC ten. So there are three concurrent ones. So these things are running. So once when it is completed, when all of them are completed. So if you go to the manage chart of accounts here, you give a search and find you'll now get a green tick mark. So fine, it's not deployed. Okay. So the first is not completed. But when multiple people are applying, what happens? The deployment also will go away. Deployment also will go. Away. So. <clears throat> so but if you go on and see, want to see the thing, now find go to the manage find uh, chart find value sets. Value set. So here the naming is slightly different actually. So if you go to the company, fine. You know, say the company, fine. Company, fine. Company, and then T zero two. Likewise, you have to put it. And company T zero two. Search for it. It will not show the company values. This is the one. So it has now created the T zero one with a prefix of company actually. And then if you click on the manage values, you will now see all the company values over here. And click on search now. Fine. It has now searched and has uploaded all the values. So this many values it has uploaded. And similarly for the accounts, fine. So I give a cancel now. So give a cancel. And then query for the accounts. Along with that, it is what E C C O U N T fine account T zero two or accounting. I am not exactly sure. And I will not say account. And then afterwards there is no such an accounting number. Account. Ah, it's coming. Account only. If you go to the account, I will not see all the hundreds of accounts would have got uploaded. Account T zero two is this one. Account zero. So click on search now. Fine. All the accounts are uploaded into the chart. Everything is there. Ready made one, but in reality they will know uh, what happens. They populate those accounts on that one, and then do it now. And for us, it's okay. Now we will now run the second one. Now. Click on it. We'll now run the second concurrent. So click on it. So click on the number. We'll now go there. We'll now run the second concurrent. We'll now go to the next. So click on it. We'll now go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> so click on it. We'll now go to the search. And click on search. We'll now go to the search. So we will go there. In this place. Uh, I will now go to the sheet number. So the, the first one is completed now. Next is what upload ledger legal entities and business units. This is the one. Can take out it. This is the task name. Entering. So you click on it. Go there. So click on choose a file. You want to choose a file. The next one, second file, you have to choose. This will run around five or five concurrents as it's now. So once when these two concurrents have got completed, your uh, creation of a structure is now complete. You have now completed creating a structure. You can now start to go and then see everything. So the chart of accounts is ready. I know that I will now go there. Click on it. I will now have a look at the chart of accounts. <clears throat> so go there. I will now say manage chart of accounts. Manage percentage. 
chart percentage acc percentage na so manage so, so, chart of accounts so i don't know what will be manage chart of accounts manage chart of accounts uh not chart of accounts sorry manage accounting calc manage percentage acc percentage cal percentage i don't know what the manage accounting calc percentage i don't know the query on the t0 to you know on query on the t0 so it got created now i will click on the hyperlink of it and have a look at it so it has now started from january 23 what is going on and click on next one so go there uh where is the next actually so this is not showing everything you are not there so everything is now created now fine so it is not you have not done it properly that is why what happens the start date is 1122 fine but uh, uh, we are now given the start date but it is not showing you from january onwards now fine i don't know why so <clears throat> maybe december is now ended now fine maybe in the last is there now everything is only from no, december is not there at all i don't know why it's nana sir select the year as 2022 nana sir <laughs> okay if you are in the year 2022 it is not showing everything <laughs> so it has now created fine everything is there now the primary ledger will now go on have a point come over the managed primary ledger primary percentage primary percentage the primary ledger prim percentage led percentage so go that t02 is the one so that is already created from that so the deployment is in progress so once it is deployed what happens it will be showing as a green tick mark so if you go on and have a look at it and you want to go over that so there is no edit take on there is no underscore also it is not under creation actually so one when all these concurrents are now complete fine it will not run around five concurrents fine when everything is completed the structure is ready so once when your structure is ready what you can do is we can now jump directly into this stuff fine this place what about you go to form fine all these things are bypassed fine location we had to create fine we had to get the location actually the legal id legal ID, fine everything is now created and all these things are automatically created now fine everything is now created this is also done this is also done this is also done fine all these things are done so that so right from business unit onwards you had to start fine you had to build on this unit i think business unit is also created i will not go on and see business unit is also created yes. b is also created is also business unit also created and then what about this is also completed now so we have to only do what create from 30th step onwards the locations have to be created and then from 30th step onwards we have to continue the b is also created the b is also created now what is the now what is the place now what is the place now how about the business unit manage business unit so the system would create the business unit also manage percentage business percentage unit percentage one go there so go to the manager mm-hmm. so if you go on and go in the t0 group so now the creation process is now going on now fine i hope that it is now created now fine because those five concurrents are running it is not created actually so we wait for it so we had to wait for it so since once when all these five concurrents are completed so once when i complete is now pass pass now fine so it has to come <clears throat> so once when it is completed then everything is now completed on the every area So this is all about rapid implementation. Like, is it clear now? Any doubts on this one? Fine, Nana sir. I will try this. Okay, you try. This. So that what happens? You will be up to this. What happens? Everything will be ready. So from thirtieth onwards, what happens? Yeah, that's only thirtieth onwards. So we are done. The mammoth. What happens? A big one on this one. Around two to six points. And I have not gone through everything as per this now. And any of I referred it somewhere here and there. So three twenty points we are complete left. So we go left front. No signal. It is the pass just to run. It now takes some time actually. Sir, any process to automate till the first pillar? <laughs> first pillar automation. That's why now I was telling only that now fine. So up to thirtieth point it is all automated now. Fine. So now this to implementation. Fine. Up to thirtieth point it is all automated. And creation of job. Yeah. No, no. This we are doing. You, you may be having a wizard for this also. So you talk to HCM team; they will not tell you about how to get the job, department's position. I am not aware of it. Even these things also, subunits are located as inventory hours can also be uploaded fine through FBD actually. So that's it. Fine, go there. So rapid implementation will help you to create your financial structures. Now again, go there. Click on it. Now go on and click on it. Three zero two one six. Then now create it. Now fine. Now it create it actually. So wait, wait for it. This has to be waited. So it is not still passed only time. So it is not taking a longer time. Right? No, it is not passed. <clears throat> so maybe after everything is completed, probably what happens? We'll be able to see the business unit also. In our Excel sheet, we will not see whether the business unit is there or not. We will not go there. We will not open up. We will not file. 
and then open up the sort of the rapid implementation you know see uh, on the second tab again right, we have the business in the bus so t0 to business everything is there so it will all create everything and totally it won't create what do you think is the rest of it so the next topic is what we will now go to uh po import now so we'll now go for the po import so with this what happens we completed the rapid implementation we'll now go to the po import so i will now first of all go to docs.oracle.com so docs.oracle.com and go there so we are going over there docs.com go there so i will now go to the cloud applications and then here what happens i go to the supply chain and manufacturing on the cloud applications i go to the supply chain and manufacturing <clears throat> go there so we are in 22d only fine so we are in 22d choose the choose the appropriate version of your what happens instance now and then afterwards go to all books on the left hand side after having done this on the supply chain manufacturing and choose the appropriate version and then click on the all books on the left hand side go to the all books now and over so now go to what abda into go to split so go down go down <clears throat> yeah, go to the abda into implementation and over the file based data import so and the under the implementation we have the abda fine file based data import so click on the hyperlink on the html now and click on the hyperlink on the html so here i will now go to the purchasing and over so manufacturing and things come and go on go on so so many things which can be imported actually so click on it not there now so where is it inventory management maintenance manufacturing fine order management supply chain collaboration product life cycle management supply chain planning no no uh, purchasing is separate we need to go oh, out oh okay wait i had to go oh, to outside uh, i see yeah it is not supply chain manufacturing it is a procurement actually yeah very correct it is not supply chain management we have to go via procurement I'll now go to the docs.org.com again. So in the plot, I should not go via this, but I had to go via procurement. That is the procurement. Financial sales, the planning, budgeting, everything is there. Cloud applications. Come on, where is that one? Under under fusion application, should uh, see all. Can you click on that see all? See all. Uh, when you click on see all. Go there. Click on it. Ah, procurement is here. Yeah. Yeah. So in this place, what happens? We have to go via procurement. Now. Click on the procurement. So we are now going via procurement. Now. This one. And click on the all books. You go to the all books on the left hand side. Now. Click on it. You now go to the implementation and then go to the file based data import. So we can import the BPA, CPA, and then the purchase order and all the things. Are so I will now go on and demonstrate the PO. All the three can be imported. So it has got four sheets actually. I will now click on it and then let us now do it now. It's now getting downloaded now. So it has got. Four yeah tell me hello sir uh, sir anyway to import the pr pr is not there we cannot import a pr because start from the pr right so pr is a basically a demand basically fine whenever a demand comes you make a pr so here we can upload uh, no no there is a sheet right import requisitions we can do it so where is it under sales ssp we have import requisitions good good under ssp they have given the import requisitions we can even do it so click on it and there i will now show in the folder so let me take a copy of it now and take copy i will now go there click on it i will now go to the uh, one, 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 one. i will now go to the procurement one i will now paste show it. my records along with that paste okay. rather i will now make one directory now and there i will now make a new directory from there so click on new new folder i am going to create i will now say po import so go there so on the po import let me paste it. So the one. I will also rename it. I will also rename it. Right. We will import fine Excel. So the one. So I am not going to modify it. Fine. Double click on it and then let us now modify. It. This is a ready-made one. Fine. Go there. Double click on it. No modify. It has got four sheets to be filled up now. So we will now fill up the first one. Fine. First one is coming. Fine. Click on enable editing in the top now. Enable editing in the top. Right. So now it is now giving a security risk actually. So whenever such a security risk comes, what happens? You close it now and close it. So don't go ahead now. Fine, so go ahead. Whenever you have a security risk, what do you do? You go there, click on it. I will now go to this place. Fine. Right click and then go to the properties. Right click and then properties. Go to the properties. So here, what happens? Uh, unblock it. Fine. It has got blocked basically. Fine. So click on the unblock and then click on apply and then click on OK. It is now unblocked. Yeah. So go back here and I'll go to the PO import. Yeah. So you had to unblock the security. Then afterwards you open up. Now it will open. So open. now it will not have any security risk. So when you are having a security risk, what happens? You have to first of all unblock it. It is not unblocked. 
ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಿ ಓ ಹೆಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಕೀ ನೌ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಇಂಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ನೌ ಫೈನ್ ಸೊ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಎಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ and then the procurement bu fine over i will not have to what happens watch my bu name now fine correct so now go back here now so now go back here so let us now uh, have a look at the bu name now fine we'll go to the fourth one i will now open up my third document the third document will now give what about the vision the base structure the document we we'll have the vision the base structure so go there so uh, we will now what happens put up this one go to this one so the procurement bu fine over bu name is what us one business unit let me take it all the way and then put it on the screen take over again so now paste it on this is the view another sub is header key and all it can be anything or it has to it be it can be anything it doesn't matter it can be anything. but it can, what happens the identity header key and all will be what happens the reference and the succeeding stages fine and all so it's okay so the procurement view is given a fine the requisitioning view is also same now wait the requisitioning view is also sold to be used also same right? sold to legal entity fine right? with the legal entity fine right? i will not take it off as legal entity take over legal entity no so i will not paste it and then the bill to be you fine over so this is the one now fine take over it i will not nana sir we can take the ones for the you have just load just now loaded right t01 something oh you want to do in that way <laughs> no no i'm saying we can take those also okay okay fine okay my mission will be easy because what happens in our system yeah, no, no, not then probably just carry on please carry on with this no problem <laughs> and that if you leave the buyer blank what happens it will now take it from the configure procurement business function if you leave the buyer blank it will be taking the from the configure procurement function the buyer is now blank actually so currency is used deep and that one no 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 and then description for i will now say uh, not as open pu there is a description i'm going my build location build location is what seattle c a t t l u seattle is the location for that ship location is also seattle c a t t l u Built location, ship location, fine. Supplier, I will not say ABC Consulting. Fine. ABC Consulting. So, there is a even one going on. Supplier number. <clears throat> and then supplier site is what? Ah, what is the supplier site for this now? Fine. I am not remembering it. Fine. I don't know. What are the two is used? Fine. 301 underscore sub underscore one now. Fine. It is site one, nah? Am I correct? Site one. Fine. I am going to put my supplier over there. Because ABC Consulting's site is not known to me. so payment terms is immediate okay fine for that uh, if you leave it blank what happens it will not pick up from somewhere else fine you can leave it also initiating party is what remove it not to want go there so uh, require acknowledgement fine again whatever columns are not really relevant what happens they remove it go there so i will not say uh, note to supplier is what note to supplier and i will say uh, nana 1 i will not put what nana 2 mm. something will be coming on the note to supplier and the note to supplier actually so something like not coming attachment fine uh, attribute one is what attribute one fine remove it fine so there are plenty of attributes are there they are all dfx actually and you can wait you know go that one you know remove those things remove attribute number 10 fine remove the attribute time stamp there are so many columns are there fine going so you go and then you are saved fine control is coming fine no giving a warning fine accept the warning so go there i'll go to the second one fine i am not going to have the second line at all i will not go to the place i will not delete this one fine all to be i am deleting it come in only one line i'm going to so go there so the headers is now completed i'll now go to the lines interface so here if you see the header has got a what's called abc as a interface key now and if you go to the next line let's explain what i mean the abc is referenced over here now and then this is having a new uh, what about the interface key abc one now So action is at mother. So line up is good. Fine, mother. So item I will not say is six five triple zero. That's what. So amount what I mean the leave blank. And then go the quantity can give it and the price. If you give the quantity and price, amount is not required. The system will automatically multiply and then put the amount. Fine, twelve into three along with the taxes and all. Fine. Now amount has come along with the taxes actually. So leave it blank. So it will not calculate along with the taxes and then say what is the PO amount actually. Is it done? My each and UAM is each or EA. I think it is EA. Find the E actually. I'm not going there. So E and delete them and delete. They're not each E. Go that one. And then the supplier item find. Let us know that. I'm not add one. One more. Find go. This one just go. Supplier item go there. So go to the note to supplier. Find go there. All these things are coming. Let us know that. 
So uh, what is this line attribute one now? Let it be as well. Now see what happens now. Let's see. Ungudal ke maunda isle ke baat. Aye. One second. Uh, 368720. 368720. So, some attributes are there. I think it's okay. So, the second tab region is now completed. Two more tab regions are there. Is the lines interface? So it is now referring the header one. Header one is now having ABC. Then he is having ABC one. Then go to the PO line location interface. So the ABC one is referencing ABC one one actually. The schedule is one. And shift to location is what Seattle. So C A T T L. Seattle is the one. Shift to organization. Fine. You can never leave. This is sufficient. One of them because they are all tied and so it's okay. And twelve commodities is okay. Fine. Nip it. I will not go that thing. I will not edit it. What I will not say. It is a. What is it? What do you do? I will not say 0901. Uh, 01 is what date? Nah, fine. Uh, this must be what happens. I will not say 23. Uh, something. Nah, no, 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 sir. It is 2022. You can put 12 and uh, maybe 25. <laughs> okay, leave it now. Fine. I know putting it on January. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's okay. Yeah. If it is a month and year, if it is a clash, then what happens? It will not uh, fail actually. Oh, I think it is Y Y Y M M and D D. That's a... It's okay. Fine. okay. And, uh, let it yeah, yeah. Three, it is okay. Fine. So I am not needing it in this year. Only fine. So one of the date is a mandatory one. Need date and promise date. One of them is a mandatory one. We are given the need date. And, uh, so destination type code. Why? Well, limit on that. It doesn't matter. It is not required actually. So go go go. And, uh, so note receiver is there. Okay. Go for them. No, no, sir. Destination destination code would be deciding the. Uh, uh, so receiving the receiving method maybe no, that will be either direct or, or standard some other place the inventory and all and even if you don't give it what was it will be what was getting defaulted is the expense and inventory fine it has got a some defaults actually okay. even if you don't give it what was it will pick up the defaults so now leaving it as my second tab region fine over ah there are some days okay, let it be as it so the second tab region is now created and now go to the third tab region. I will not delete all the things. Second tab region. I will not delete the remaining ones. Even in the previous sheet, you only delete the The previous also I am not delete. So I am not delete. The second and the third now. First sheet I did. First sheet I did. Second sheet is okay. Third sheet is okay. And then you'll go to the final one find the solution is again referencing this now. So previous previous screens it will be referencing now. The quantity is 12 now. 12 is okay. Uh, go there, go there. Everywhere the quantity must be same actually. And if you give a different one, it will be giving a problem. It's okay, man. All the attributes are all okay. Go to home. So select it. Now, having done everything, what happens? It will now go to the first tab. Right? So everything is not on the file. We'll go to the instructions and see this. Right? Go to the instructions and see this. Right? We'll now generate the CSV file. So click on the generate CSV. After having done this, you save, save now. And then after saving it, what happens? It click on generate CSV. Click on generate CSV file. And the CSV file is going to be generated now. Right? Right? <sighs> now go there. So I will now keep my location in the proper number. Go to the decoder. I will now go to the procurement. And then I will now go to the PO import now. And PO import directory. PO import directory. So the PO import all of them. Click on save. Click on save. So we are saving it. So again, on the same one, second file. Fine. All the, there are four sheets are there. The first sheet is not on. The second sheet, fine. Click on save now. And then it will go the third sheet now. Fine. Third sheet. And then again, give a save on the same place. And then the fourth sheet will. So save all the four sheets on the same place. It's all done. Fine. Click on again. So no, no, sir, no, don't we need to specify the charge accounts and all? Everything will be coming automatically because we are now done in the manage mapping set. All the charge accounts, the variable accounts, fine. Everything is not done. If you want to override only, you have to give it. Otherwise, no need at all. So, okay. not approval or uh, variance. Everything is now picked up from the manage mapping set. So, it's all done now. So, now what happens? I have to go and then park it on a UCM area. I'm now going to park it on a UCM area. I'm now going to the instance. 
okay i will not park it on the usual area okay so click on the fine i'll now go to the home area and click on the home let me park it on the using area go to this place so i will now what i'm going to do, go there <clears throat> i will now go to the tools now go to the tools and then you know how what one import export will be there i do not there at all so click on plus and then what i'm the file import and export click on plus now and we had to add that let add this one click on plus let me add on the tools now in the tools go down so we can do from schedule process also maybe schedule process no no uh, we have to first of all bring it to the user area uh, we can do it uh, by that also i will not come to that i will not come to schedule process also i can do i am coming to that now go to the tools then what happens i will not enable the import export in the file import export enable it so go there so we can do by schedule process also i will not come to that click. so that has been enabled now to it so click on schedule process so first let me park it on the user area file import export let me park it on the user area <clears throat> so click on plus now fine the user area yeah. so click on plus and then i'm going to choose the file now to the file i will now say go there i will now open up my using i will now open up the po import import and then what happens this all gets what happens zipped into one file only fine this file what happens all the four sheets are zipped into one file. and then go there drop it what it is a po import now fine go to the p and keep on pressing po import now prc prc maybe prc maybe prc <clears throat> PRC, do it now. Keep on pressing PPP. Do not come in. No, well, PRC purchase order import. So go to the choose the appropriate UCM area for you. Now. PRC purchase order import. Fine. So it will now get parked on this area. Fine. Click on save first. We are now parking it on the UCM. Area. So the file is coming. So having parked it, then what happens? You go there and then bring it to the interface table. Click on the home area. Fine. We are now going to bring it to the interface table. I go to the tools and then I go to the schedule process and then I will now bring the part the UCM file into the interface table. Now, click on the schedule process. Fine. So the concurrent is what load interface file by import. <clears throat> so go there. So load fine. interface. Sir, file. when we are importing the when we are importing the structure, we didn't do part, right? We direct on the import, right? When we are creating the structure, we it doesn't come via UCM area. Okay. Structure creation is not via UCM only. Imports are coming from when you are doing FBDA import, they'll be coming via UCM area. Okay. So I am now bringing it, the data from the UCM area into the interface area. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So import process is what it is a purchase order import. I am not exactly remembering the number. Fine. So it is a purchase order import. What is the thing which is there now? Fine. While you are doing it, I am not PRC purchase order order import. I think it is a order import. I can click on search now. Fine. It is a order import. It is a what order Import. It is actually case sensitive. Actually, I have given a small eye; it will not come at all. They are such a. These people are not. What happens? They done this. Man. If you give a capital I only, it will come. Order import. So both the things are capital. Ah, it is not coming. Fine. Fine. Or import orders maybe. Fine. Import order. Fine. Import order. So the game caps on. Import order. It is import order. So if you give a small O, you see what happens. It will not come at all. So it's all bad. Import order. So it has already got parked in the import orders uh, UCM area. Thank you, Manu. Click on again. So go there. So we already passed it. And then if you drop down your data file, it'll be there. Thank you, Manu. Drop down. You'll now find your data file. So what is the import? And this one. PO import orders zip. And you go there and then how does it come? Now go to space. And what PO import orders dot zip. Find the one. So that is coming in the top. So if you drop down, right, that is the PO import order. This is the one. Choose it. And then this will now bring the data from the UCM area into the interface area. It will now bring the data from the UCM area into the interface area. Thank you, Consul. We are going to bring it. So probably thank you, Consul. And then we are submit it. So it will now run the four concurrent section. It will now run the four concurrent. Load interface file by import is now going down. The four concurrent section. For every sheet, what happens? One load interface file for import will be running, and then once it is completed, what happens? It will now get succeeded. Now it is now ready for bringing it to the base table. Uh, load interface file for import, and there is one more way of what happens? It not parking on the UCM area. So for which what I'm what you do is, if you don't want to park it on the UCM area, 
what you can do is you go to the schedule process and then run it again now right so other time what happens Instead of what happens, the import process, what happens, you choose it, right? click on it, you know, choose the import process, I will not use the import orders, not right? import right? order. And then if you go tap this money or not, ah, it's not coming, right? drop down and choose. Right? This is a Baker search again. When I give a tap, it's not coming. You have to go on and search for it. Right? So drop it down. Right? So click on search now, right? you go to search for it. So go there. The import order, right? search for it. Not only coming. So put it. Now, Instead of parking it on the UCM area, what you can do is you can drop down the data file and then what happens, you can now go to what? Upload a new file. So by which the Excel, the zip file which you have created can be directly uploaded over here. Fine, click on it. Go that mode. I will not choose a file. Fine. From this area, I will not choose it. Go that mode. So instead of parking it on the UCM area, if you go to upload file and then click on OK, and then when you submit it, it will now first bring this file into the UCM area and then to the what happens, interface area. By uploading a file, what happens if we can even bypass the parking of the file on the UCM area? Right? So it does two things. Right? It will now, first of all, bring the zip file into the UCM area and then finally bring it to the interface area also. So in one go, you can do it by what happens, not choosing the file, but by upload a new file. Is it clear? I'm not doing it. What is the suggested method to do? There is no such a, both the things are okay. Fine. Whichever is okay for you, you can do it. There is no such suggestion. Fine. This is faster. Right. There is no need to explicitly go and then put in the UCM area and upload a new file will be fast actually. Right. The system will now automatically park on the UCM and then bring in the interface area automatically. So give a cancel. I'm not doing it because I already done it. Now what happens is we go to the purchase orders area and then import it directly. So go to the home icon. I will not go to the purchasing. So I will not go to the purchasing. <clears throat> I go to the procurement now and go to the procurement and then import it. Go to the procurement. And then here, whatever you go there, I will not go to the purchase orders and then perform an import directly. Go on, click on it. Well, now go to the import orders also. Click on the import orders. Click on the import orders. Go there. So, whatever you click on the submit new process. Click on the submit new process. So, go there. There's one and the default buyer is okay. And the approval action is what? Submit for approval. And that is okay. So uh, communicate orders, you can even communicate to the supplier also if he's out the email actually. So okay, fine. The remaining are okay. So click on submit. By which happens, it is not getting covered. So this will now bring the data from the interface table to the base table. Let me click on the first one. So once when it's completed, what happens? You can even see the uh, log output also. So the import orders. It is not completed. Succeed in a kind of view output of the kind of view output. Go there. So click on it. You see whether you see anything or not. Now go to the short click. So open up the PDF. You will now see what happens there. Uh, interface key, everything is coming. The supply side is not a valid one. Site one, maybe capital S, I think. The site, yes, is capital actually. So yes, is capital and is a small one. Of mine. So let us now correct this error. Yes, is a capital. So go there, click on it, file, and then I will now go to the PO import Excel file. So there, whatever is it? the site name is not correct. And the remaining, there is no error at all. Only on the site, there is no giving error. So no, no, sir. We cannot correct it directly from the UI, like uh, interface. Uh, <laughs> from the front end, we cannot correct. There is no other, no such option. I don't know. <laughs> it is not loaded, actually. It is not loaded. No, no it is coming to the interface. It is in the interface. It is in the interface. Oh. No, because uh, I'm just asking because it uh, should not tell duplicate. We no, need to re-upload. There is no, there is no yeah, such option. No, such, no such option. No such option. No, so, no we need to go again. Correct the FBA but day it won't give load. any unique errors. Like once error, it's error. That's all. Oh God! So there is no such facility at all. Thank you, ah, that was very difficult. So we'll not go that one. We'll not correct this. No, fine. So the yes is a capital one. I think yes is a capital one. So go there. No, no, come in. We can verify by opening that uh, that supplier and see if it is correct. Okay. <laughs> He's saying that it's better to verify it. Mean, doing all the activities and then afterwards saying push. I mean, it's very difficult actually. I, go there. I will not go to the supplier and then verify it. I will go to the supplier and then verify it. Only supplier side is having error. Man, the other one is not having error. Oh, this case sensitiveness they have to avoid now. Man. I don't know why they are doing all this case sensitive business. 
T01. And then you go to the side area and then have a look. So we are opening the supply then and go to the side directly. And then get on this one. Go to the side. And then see. It is a site space one, not my site and then space one. Fine. The capital is fine. Okay, good. <clears throat> so this is one of my class. So give a tap. I will not give a coming. And the remaining, I don't think there is enough. Otherwise, it will not show error again. Now go to place one. Click on generate here for so go there. So now generating it from there. So we already done. I will also say uh, PO find import find two. Oh, wow. There's a gap slot here. So now say PO. Sir, yeah. we can overwrite the same file also. That's not true. Okay, you try those. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. I'm not overwrite the same. Click on save. So I don't say cheap over the one. I don't like it now. So click on save. So one by one, all the sheets will be saved. The first sheet is not saved. Second sheet is not saved. So the third sheet, and then save the fourth sheet. Now all of them will be zipped into one file. I will not close it without saving them. And don't save it. So go there, go to the test. Now. So I'll not. So I'll now go there, right click and then duplicate now. I'll now go to that what's called. Uh, I'm just taking it. Now this time I will not bring it in one go. I will not park it on the UZM area. I will not bring it in one go directly. I will not go to the tools and then go to the schedule to process now. I will not click on it. I will not go to the tools. <clears throat> I will not go to the tools. Tools. And then I go to the schedule process only. And go to the schedule process. Over. I will not say the same file. Import. Load interface file by import. Load interface file by import. So click on the click. So this time, what happens? I don't go that. It is the import order is the one. I will not choose the appropriate area. <clears throat> so click on search and search. And then click it. Import orders. Import order for purchasing. I click on click on okay. And then I will now directly upload it. I will now upload a new file. Thank you. So click on choose file. <clears throat> The PO import to and then run it. So it brings into the interface UCM area, universal content management area, and then afterwards I bring it to the base interface area also. Fine. It does save both the activities in one go actually. Load interface file by import and now, now wait for the main transfer file has to get completed. Load on this one. The load interface file by import has to get succeeded. So everything has got succeeded now. Fine, we'll go there. We'll now import it. Click on done. Go there. So I will now go to the import now. No performance import. Supply now. Where is the one? Oh, nothing is there. So click on it. We'll now go to the procurement area. Uh, uh, go to the procurement. Now go to the procurement. Now. So go to the procurement. And then here, I will now go to what the scheduled process and the purchase orders. In the purchase orders, I will now perform an import. I will now perform an import orders. Go there. So click on submit new process. I will now submit it. So submit copy work. Okay. Uh, okay, fine. Click on submit. The second one is running. Murga, Murga. I don't want any error. No succeeded fine. Click on the view output. So click on this one. It will show all. Open up the text. So go there, try the procurement batch to find. No records were processed. Please check if the procurement view on batch ID inputs are correct actually. Fail to process. So F20 comment. 
you must enter a value for item description null one. How come item description has become null one? Error reported. So item description is null now. And how come? And how come it is a file? Why not go to the working by Excel? Uh, we'll now go to the second tab written. Uh, oh God, the description is null actually. Fine, it is not picking up automatically on this one. Fine. Item description is null. Now. So I will now say Nana's item. Come in. Nana sir, I think it should be relevant to that item. Not, okay, that is reality. Fine, but uh, it is not picking up from the item master actually. That is what I was wondering. And that's how it should do. The system should pick up. My item description is null now. It should pick up from my item the description automatically. Now it is not picked up. Yeah. I don't know. It's... Is it the way the error is there? I will now populate my item description null now. Anna, sir, can you change the batch ID? Because batch ID. You must enter a value for this item description now. He's also asking that. If procurement so, BO and batch ID inputs are correct. When job ID is there, import document started calling, fine. Uh, input, input is what procurement BO so and so, fine. Input batch ID is null now. Null. That means the batch that we used earlier is the same one. We need to change the batch ID now okay. for processing. Uh, there is one record already in the interface too. Okay, okay. We'll not either. So we'll go to the hand open. So go to the and go to the whole icon open. So batch ID 1386 now. 1386 now. So batch ID is not seen. Let's see what the error now. What the error? So one is what the batch ID is only giving you. When the batch ID is null, that's what saying. Okay, fine. So I'm going to change the batch ID to 1386 now. Anything else? We're now given a description of some anodine. So no, I think is you the procurement BU correct now, sir? Procurement BU US1 BU with font different. That is fine. Or that is throwing any error. US one business. So the procurement BU and batch ID inputs are correct now. So procurement BU and then the batch ID input. And batch ID input I have not changed. BU is correct. Now. So go to the main header now. So the procurement BU is correct already. Fine. US one business unit from that positioning and sold to and the bidding unit. So the buyer is null. We will not see. What is the next level? No, do we have to change the batch ID in the second sheet? Oh, oh. Second sheet also. Uh, second sheet, there is no batch ID at all. So in the third sheet, what happens? We don't have any batch ID. And they are not referencing only the previous uh, keys only. There is no difference. Only well, in the main one, what happens? We have the batch ID. So I will not go there. Keep on the preview. Generate one. Like Gajini Memo, we are now going for the third time. Okay. I will not say it's a preview. Import 3. No? Preview Import 3. So click on save now. Click on save. Click on save. One, this is two, <clears throat> this is three, and then that is four. You all done. I'll not close it and without saving it. I'll not go over there. I'm not bring it. I will not know the monitor process. Should, should any process. Load interface file by import. So the import processes, import orders, search for it. <sighs> Click on search. So import order. I'm searching for it. So click on OK. <clears throat> so data file, I go to upload it. Upload a new file. So click on choose file. So the third one is not getting uploaded. Submit it. I will now close this error file now. Because if you get a new error, so verify it. Fortunately, the system is fast now. <laughs> Otherwise, it will not take a very long time. Actually, you're really lucky, you people. So go there. So everything has got completed. Now go to our input orders. So we close it. <coughs> now click on it. Then now go to our input orders. So we are now running it for the third time. So go there, submit for approval. It's all okay. It's okay. You can give the batch ID here. No, not necessarily. It will not pick up on me. 
So what happens? I have to submit a new process. I have to submit a new process. Submit a new process. Coming, also coming. Answer: You can do resubmit also. Resubmit also. Resubmit. 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 Resubmit.